Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Moments, Momentos de Tecnología. In this video we're going to see how to live stream your meetings from Google Meet, which has recently changed its name from Hangouts Meet to Google Meet. Before we begin, it's very important for me to say that this uh, feature does not work if you want to share the live stream of a meeting with somebody outside of your domain. What does this mean? It means that people that do not have uh, their email with the at school.com, but they have, for example, the at Gmail, at Hotmail, whatever, they are not going to be able to see the live streams unless you give them an account from your institution. With that said, and without further ado, we're going to start by going to Google Calendar. Remember that Calendar is one of the most important tools that uh, works with the whole ecosystem from Google. Here we're going to go to the date you want to create your meeting at, which in this case is going to be uh, May the 5th at 9 a.m., for example. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to call this uh, meeting, I'm going to uh, add the title, which is going to be Live Stream Test. Once the title is done, you can uh, follow with this uh, kind of tool that you have here. In this case, it, we're going to leave it at uh, how it is, which is at an event. It's very important for you to check that the date and the time is the one you want to be. And uh, then you're going to you're going to add your guests, which in this case are going to be people ideally from your institution that will participate. That's important that they're going to interact with everybody in the room, with everybody in the virtual room, of course. If you want somebody to be able to see everything that's going on, but not to interact, then you might not include them in this list because you're going to then be able to share the live stream link with them. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to paste this example email and we're going to click enter, hit enter for that person to be included into the guest list. Notice that when we add one person to our guest list, these, uh, this uh, join with Google Meet link has been generated automatically. That's important because you can create it manually, but uh, know that when somebody you, you add somebody to the, the guest list, then this uh, link is generated automatically. Now we could continue and we would miss this little arrow, but this arrow will be the key in this creation of a meeting. We're going to click it and notice that we now have more options below join with Google Meet. First, you're going to be able to change and edit manually what your URL for the meeting is going to be. Then you're going to have a possible phone number for people to join in via audio only or to complement their video with a uh, better audio by their phone. And last, you see this little option. This little option is going to add the live stream feature to your meeting. If you don't click it here in calendar while creating the meeting or the virtual class for that matter, you're not going to be able to live stream your meeting. So we click it. We add a location if we want, a description if we want. If not, we just hit save. In this case, it asks if you want to send an invitation via email. In this case, I don't want it, but I recommend that you send it to the people you're inviting. Important note here, the email you just sent, it's not going to go for the people you want to join the live stream, but rather it will send an email to attend the meeting and be able to participate. That's something important to take into account. And finally here, it asks me if I'm sure that I want to invite somebody that's outside my organization. In this case, I say yes, but you might want to check this further. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to copy the URL for my meeting to be able to join it. I click the meeting I created or the virtual class or whatever you're creating and then this um, URL is going to show up. You're gonna hit here, click here, that means copy to the clipboard and then you go to meet.google.com. It might appear here in your scheduled meetings, the, 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 the closest meetings are going to appear here, but if it doesn't you just, you're just going to uh, paste your URL here and now we come to a uh, transition page. This page is really useful for you to get ready to join the meeting. Uh, you can um, activate, turn on your camera or your microphone. In this case, we're not going to allow those to be on and we join the meeting. 
as I'm the host of this meeting and the first person to be here, this message is going to appear. Notice that everybody that comes in, everybody that is here already into the meeting will be able to start the meeting. So you have to be very clear with the people that are joining the meeting and telling them that until everybody's ready, you're not going to start streaming. We can close this now and we will see that if does that if that does not appear, we're going to need to go back down here to the more options button and now this will show up here. You can record the meeting, you can live stream the meeting or you can do both at the same time. You have to check that everybody's ready for you to, to start streaming and once it's done you just click here it asks you for consent, everybody's okay with it, you say start streaming and it will take a couple of seconds for the streaming to actually begin. There we go, now we are live and where are we live, you may ask? Well, the meeting details here on the bottom left, you can copy the streaming URL that was generated previously but that you can copy from Google Meet now, not only from Calendar which is very handy once you want to copy and to share it with everybody you can copy these URL before you go live which would be the recommended thing to do you copy it and in another tab you're going to paste it see how here we have the the first part of the of what you copied not being useful so you just uh, cut that and then enter hit enter and then we are now into the uh, platform or the interface of the, the live stream from Google Meet. This is something that remember is private to your domain. Okay now you may wonder how does it look, how does the meeting look when there's more than one person speaking or when there's somebody presenting, somebody uh, sharing their screen. Well it's very simple. If you have previously recorded some meetings that you had you might know already what the answer is when somebody is speaking and nobody's presenting the image will just be the person that's speaking at a certain point if two people are speaking at the same time it will go back and forth between those two people's images or if they have their cameras turned on well their their webcams if somebody is presenting i'm going to show to you how this would look we're going to share present now just a window and we share this window we have here which is the one we have meet on once we're presenting you see that it will take a couple of seconds because I have seen that the live stream delay is about 15 to 30 seconds depending on everybody's uh, internet connection but it isn't something to be worried about okay now that it is showing here uh, it has loaded how do we share how we share our, our our meetings you can see how everybody's gonna see the live stream this is very useful especially if you want to present uh, a PowerPoint presentation or whatever you want to show to your audience you will see that the person that's speaking is going to appear in a little box in the right a little square and the person that's presenting or not the person but their screen the, the screen that is being presented is going to show up in the left part um, using the majority of the space of the screen which is important and and it has to be taken into account if you want to show people something with your hands you might need to move them uh, in a broader way so that they understand what you are uh, showing so thanks everybody for being here in this tutorial I hope that this really is a tool that you can exploit and that you can uh, find very useful in your organization I would say that this is especially useful if you want to share information with tons of people in your organization your school your university but you don't need them all to participate and it it might be easier for you to share a live stream or the recording of the meeting to the people that you want the content to be shared with instead of just adding them to a meeting that might be hundreds of people and that it's not really what I would recommend. So thanks again for watching the video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. It helps us a lot. And if you want to see more content like this in the G Suite or Google based or any other tutorial for that matter, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see. With that said, we're going to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.